有这个 G Talk 台北 G Talk 所办的这个 Android 的演讲哦，那我们非常呃开心可以邀请到啊 Spencer 为大家来介绍这个他开发的这个 Android 的软体哦 Green Tech 那好，那等一下呃等一下的时间就会呃由他来跟大家介绍这个开发的一些呃一些经过哦，那。好，这边也小小的这个广告跟宣传一下啊，就是如果各位身边有这个在玩跟 Google 相关的 technology 有心得，然后想要来给大家做演讲的话，都非常欢迎。好，写 mail 给我，那我们来安排时间，请他跟大家做分享。好，那呃，那如果说你是呃第一次来参加这个社群活动的话，那我们基本上在每个。每隔隔周的呃礼拜三晚上都会在这个地方做呃 regular meeting 哦，有时候可能没有主题的话，就是大家来聊聊最近玩了些什么东西哈。那呃好，那就废话不多说，那我们就欢迎今天晚上的 speaker 哦 ，Spencer， 谢谢。Hi everyone, my name is Spencer Rodri. Uh, first want to thank Eric for inviting me here to speak with you all. I... Thanks everybody for showing up here. I'm glad everybody's interested in, in what I'm doing here. Uh, so what am I doing? Uh, I my name is uh, let's see. Okay. So, like I said, my name is Spencer Winterin. Uh I'm an Android developer. I've been working with Android since uh, the very first day it came out uh, over two years ago, and I've been enthusiastically uh, working, just developing software. I've been, uh, I have my own software, which I'm going to talk about tonight. I've also been working with local companies here in Taiwan, uh, helping them build Android development teams and Android software and that sort of thing. Uh, so, kind of switch back and forth. Depending on what's available, you know, what time is available, and whatnot. So let's see. Sorry, yeah, it's, cl it's clipping a little bit on the right here. Okay, so like I said, I created a software called uh, Fling Tap Done. It's a, uh, it's really, well, okay. Let, let's start. Let's start with who we are. Okay, so like I said, my name is Spencer. Uh, uh, I develop our software uh, with uh, the assistance of Gil Chang here, who is here to join us. Uh, she's a graphic designer and has been extremely helpful to me in developing software. I have a lot of background in engineering, software engineering, uh, computer science background, but uh, the, the user interface portions of it, uh, you know, I'm okay, but she's great. So. <laughs> she's, <laughs> I can't say, I can't, I can't tell you how, how helpful it's been to have this. So, um, okay. so why did I start? So two years ago, uh, uh, Android came on the scene and Google announced uh, or, uh, yeah, Google announced the SDK, and they also announced a, an Android Developer Challenge, and they had this huge amount of money, half a million dollars or a million, I don't, I don't remember, a lot of money, and uh, you know, um, so I started writing in software at that time, and so you know, I, and I, I think a lot of other people may have tried it out at the time as well, but partly because there was this big pot of money <laughs> that was that was kind of being offered up for for people who did you know kind of interesting things with it, uh, so. So I think the obvious question is, did we start for the money? <laughs> and uh, I, 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 we're getting cut off here. No, but at least it's only the English that's being cut off. Uh, no, really, I didn't do it. I really liked the SDK right from the very beginning. Uh, so you know, for, for me, I just like Android uh, <laughs> uh, a lot. So I would have, I would have kept going here if it, if it wasn't for the contest and all the money. Uh, but the money does help. <laughs> so, 
you know, it's hard to say you don't you don't do it for the money when you, when you spend a lot of time focused on getting a prize like that. So, uh, so but yeah, like I said, mostly mostly Android is great. Um, so, this is a Google Technology User Group. You all, you all are pretty familiar with the way that Google does things, uh, but I'll just reiterate why I think is Android's great, and it's just the magical combination of uh, Java, which which I have a lot. Of, I have ten years of experience programming in Java from way back before most people even didn't even know what Java was, and uh, and it sits on top of uh, you know Linux and and. Uh, and, and it's all Apache, Apache uh, licensed. I mean, it, for me, it's just you know just just the right mix of of, of, uh, of you know technologies and standards and, and, and licenses. Okay, so what what did we do? Uh, well, we like I said, we created a, a, a to do list called Fling Tap Done. And so you, you you might ask why a to do list? I mean, they're like. There are like thousands of them out there. And, you know, it, it, it's, it's a lot of competition. You know, I think. And uh, well, it all started a long time ago. Well, actually, over two years ago, maybe three-ish years ago or so. And I'm, I'm at work. This is me at work, actually, with my child uh, strapped to my, my belly here. And uh, I'm at work, and, and you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to get stuff done. And you know, there's my boss. That actually wasn't my boss at the time, but my, my boss was, you know, the you know, boss is yelling at me to get stuff done, you know, and, you know, reasonably so. And, you know, I got so much to do, and I'm trying to figure out what the heck is going on. You know, I, I, uh, I had a lot, you know, you have, when, you, when you develop a software, you have a lot of little things you have to do. And they're not, you know, oftentimes, they're not big enough to show up on, like, some high-level, you know, uh, uh, progress chart or, or some sort of bug tra even bug tracking some sometimes it's just like really small little things you know you got to do but it's just not big enough for anybody else to pay attention to it's it's just kind of part of your to-do list right and so i have all these little you know sheets of paper that i'm trying to keep track of all the little things that i have to get done and i'm thinking to myself man there's got to be a better way of doing this and i you know i try on i try some like online to-do list software and just you know, and I have a Palm Pilot, and you know, I'm trying out different things, and nothing seems to work very well. And I keep falling back to paper, and uh, so paper is reliable. It's, it's you know, um, but I, but I also started thinking about what it was, uh, what I thought a good to-do list would, would be, and, and and like how it would be designed. And so here I here I'm thinking about like you know, kind of modeling in my head how I thought it, a to, what a to-do list should should be. So uh, this this is it. This is what um, this is what when when the Android developer when the Android toolkit came out and I saw this wonderful mobile platform, I thought, well, how about I try doing it on, on here? You know, it's portable. It's with me all the time. It's a good match for a to do list. So uh, we created a okay. So let's start with the, with the editor, which is you know simple, clear. You know, if you ever look at any of the other to do lists, you know, out there, they're, they're always like really complex and they have all kinds of Crazy settings, and, and I just just say that we focus on keeping this simple, uh, and uh, we we have a whole bunch of kind of cool, neat features. Uh, for example, we have attachments, just like you might have on an email. You can attach things to it. So, for example, other tasks, or email, or contacts, or websites, or even a subtask, uh, this sort of thing. And I'll, and I'll demonstrate this in a moment. Okay, uh, so we also have filters, and uh, here you can see uh, we have, these, these are different filters that we have with the all filter, the archive, personal, school, right? these are all created by the user, and you can kind of switch between the filters. So if you have something for work, and then after you leave work, you can switch it real quickly to your, maybe your you know, personal one or something, and all of a sudden, you know, the, the, the list of tasks changes immediately. And, and so this allows you to kind of, Use one one software for all your all your to dos. Um, by the way, if anybody has any questions along the way, just throw a hand up or something. Um, okay, so the actual content. Of, so I just showed you all the list of filters, uh, but each one of these items can be has a lot of configuration. For example, the due date, priority status, but also a particular folder. Is it you know is it archived or not? Uh, some some uh, labels. Um, you know things like this. Uh, so, so, so there's a lot of uh, a lot of configuration. Uh, so, like I said, we have labels, we have archiving, 
we have location reminders we have call